Okay. So, time for another action packed segment in Skyward Sanctuary. So, this looks like we're going to um, good old Sky Sanctuary Zone in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, probably no one will even notice anything, but um, I actually have this uh, recording now going at 1080p instead of the original 720p I had for every segment um, up to this one. Because um, for reasons I probably don't even understand and yeah, don't even ask me why. But I was sort of just goofing around with... Um, the video software settings because I was just curious to see if it would let me record in 4K. I don't know, maybe just for a laugh. But um, that apparently overloaded, so it just totally um, decided that, yeah, sorry, we're just, yeah, your video call is just gonna stutter horribly. So, technically, now that I'm done just totally screwing around with uh, the video quality settings I have this now it's getting an input at 4k but it's outputting at 1080p that seemed to be the maximum sweet spot I don't know this you know just because you need Mario 64 graphics in uh, as high a resolution as possible I suppose okay so is there actually anything over here Oh, I could actually climb up more over there if I would actually bother even looking. Yeah, this one, this map looks a little bit smaller overall, so that's, uh, that's a climb, and that's a climb. So, presumably, less uh, room to get totally lost in, but also bottomless pits everywhere always uh, always a good time no okay that's not that's not a good way to go how do I want to climb this stuff huh wonder if a long jump would do it time to f time to test more jumping skills hey there we go our trees climbable now, oh, yes. Well, to a degree. But yeah. <laughs> Having fun. Um, yeah, things got kind of frustrating, to say the least, but with wall kicks. So let's uh, see if we can find any more awful locales like that. All right, I guess that's not something to wall kick. <laughs> Um, yeah, so after the recording there I did last time, I was, once again, just sort of taking around ideas in my head about, oh, what I might do next, because, you know, we're, we're getting along with this at a good pace, as I've said before, and it's probably never too early to start thinking about that. Um... Some of the ideas I have really kind of settled in on are maybe doing some, like, something with, uh, Sonic. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's also contingent. I'll probably have to brainstorm with maybe a Cody or someone else to see what they would think about the whole Emerald situation. Um, and another one, which would be going back to being blind, would be doing, um... The Metroid Prime games, because it's one franchise I've really always wanted to play, but yeah, since I never had a GameCube and I didn't own um, the original Wii or Wii U or anything like that, so I never had a um, good opportunity to play any of them as they were coming out. Um, I played a little bit of 3, 
uh, when a friend of mine got that. Probably, um, I guess you would say, like, the prologue parts of it. Uh, whoops, I thought I almost saved that. But that was, but that was really about all. Um, other than that, I pretty much uh, watched him play it mostly. Oh gosh, okay, so triple jumps are really going to be the name of the game. Yeah, I watched him play most of it, so I guess if I got around to doing that and got all the way up to uh, Metroid Prime 3, I, would, I could possibly hear the argument that, you know, I was kind of spoiled. Is this only red coins? I don't think I want to be over here. Okay. I guess that's good to know-ish. But yeah, and the only, I guess, it's it's kind of a poor excuse not to do it, but... Oh, God. Just walk right off the edge while I'm talking. Yeah, the only kind of excuse I had to maybe not do it was, you know, once again, you know, I'm doing all this Nintendo stuff, and it would be really kind of, you know, change up to do something, you know, totally different. But, you know, once again, at the end of the day, it's, you know, I'm really more worried about just playing stuff that's, you know, kind of fun. Um, because the, the more I've kind of played around with the ideas, um, the more doing something from the Xbox appeals to me a little less just because the, lo the logistics of recording from that are a bit more frustrating, I I would say. Just because it, um, my, uh, yeah, the OBS Studio doesn't seem to really want to work with, um, the Xbox Companion app, and from what I've looked up, it's kind of a known thing where Microsoft kind of has that blocked on purpose and there's not really much in the way of workarounds that I saw for that and the using the the base Windows recording software would kind of work although since it it's basically a source video it uh, would be a really huge file size. Uh, oh, okay. Was this just a different way up here, or what? So, it would be a little bit more cumbersome. I mean, I would still, you know, like to do it outside of those kind of constraints, but, yeah. Anything I can do recording using uh, the, the OBS Studio would be the most ideal for me. So, yeah, like I said, it's it's still, you know, good ways to go yet. So, you know, definitely don't have to um, make up my mind on that yet. All right. So we're all the way up on this tower. And we got another star. Okay. Collecting everything that's hidden away up high. The spire in the sky. Let's rhyme on the dime. And so we're still looking for a leap to the low, f to the low-lying ledge, or wherever that might be. And then, um, I, you know, once again, we, okay, we, I think we got whatever, yeah, we got what was over there because I can see the blue star now. Um, all right, so there's still one hiding way up there. So I guess I'll. S Keep going here and see what I run into first. Something low or something high. I mean, I guess it's not that over there because I don't really see a way to get over to that. Yeah, I don't really know how it would want me to, to go down there, but... 
So yeah, we'll just stick to climbing up this uh, tower stuff. And I think I have to go over from the other side. Now, how do I get up? <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, this looks like a good spot. Maybe? Can I jump up? No, I can't. I lied. This doesn't look like a good spot. So how do I get over to that? Ow. Doesn't even look like a high fall. You suck, Mario. Let's see. Can I do maybe a side flip wall jump? No, maybe a triple wall jump. Oh, that actually that might work. So let's let's save here because th this might actually work. Um. So in really random kind of news. And one of those things where I um, just sort of arbitrarily follow up on something that gets stuck in my head. For whatever reason, I just started thinking about this weird old cartoon I, uh, I had seen. Like, I don't even know how many years ago. It might have been when it had kind of like originally aired, which... Um, ended up being like 1996, but um, yeah, it was this really weird old cartoon. I remember it, it was something like I would always like sort of half remember every once in a while because it, it stuck out because it was like really um, notable for being violent. It was like a wolf, you know, Big Bad Wolf and and Three Little Pigs sort of thing, but. It always stuck out because it was a cartoon where the uh, the wolf actually kills the pigs, and I just for the longest time I could not remember what it was, and you know anytime it would come into my head, it would usually be some time when I wasn't really feeling like bothering about. Um, trying to research it so I don't know it's like I, I kind of woke up and I just said you know what maybe well while, while I'm thinking about it for once I'll finally see if I can search it and remember what this thing was and um and so I searched it and it ended up being um the very final episode of Tales from the Crypt, uh, and it's an episode called The Third Pig, and, you know, of course, I mean, nowadays, it's pretty easy to find most things on, um, YouTube or whatever, so, you know, I actually managed to find this episode, and as I kind of expected it, you know, the episode itself wasn't, like, anything great, but it, it was really, you know, interesting to finally see the the episode again, and then it's like, okay, now it's going to be finally be out of my head. And like you said, the only reason I ever really remembered it was just because, yeah, the wolf killed the pig, and because I, I always remember the visual that it ended with the wolf eating one of the pigs like a sandwich and basically biting him in half. And, yeah, I, I must not have... I'm pretty sure I hadn't even seen it since it probably would have been just, you know, airing originally, because I... I wouldn't even know one else. So, so yeah, something that you can just sort of remember in your head for... You know, over, you know, a little over 20 years, 1990, yeah, 1996, so it's what, 24 years? Some, 
some things, man. Now, yeah, as I'm now as I'm like kind of rambling about here, we're still trying to find you know this thing where I'm supposed to jump to the low ledge, and I haven't found anything that really looks super promising. Let me, yeah, let's try over here. I'm trying to just remember what all, uh, yeah, what all these floating islands I haven't been to yet. Which gets tricky after a little while. See, because I want to say that it had, probably has something to do with those ones that are way out there in the distance that I was just at a little while ago, but I just can't see any way to get there. Oh, wait, 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 well... Okay, because yeah, this doesn't really seem to lead anywhere. And, yeah, there's nowhere to... There's not really anything hidden about. So yeah, a leap to the low-lying ledge. Like I said, unless there's something like really hanging out down below that I am just not seeing. So this is really becoming the the big new tradition with these courses is you know just that one star that totally seems to baffle me. It used for a little while it was blue coins and now it's this nonsense. Um Yeah, cuz that's uh like I said, unless it's something over on that. Let, so let's go check out over there. Yeah, this is one of those unfortunate things where like really artificially inflates the segment time because like I, I really would love to you know get some of this stuff figured out before we move on to other stuff but not really a lot I can do to help not knowing where stars are when I'm going in blind see and that's one another reason why I'm like I like and don't like doing like these blind runs because on one hand it's cool because you're learning all the stuff about a game for the first time but on the other hand when you really when you run into something where you just ha don't have any clue what the solution is you can end up looking foolish by sort of jumping around for an extended amount of time <laughs> like I have been having to do. And it's like, oh, I really don't want to have to worry about trying to, about trying to cheat or anything. Because that really defeats the purpose of this. Oh yeah, this was a long jump. A long jump, I said. So yeah, that's the one thing that would uh, make me a little apprehensive to do something like the um, Metroid Prime series because I, you know, it's a, that's definitely stuff like I barely had any experience with and the little bit I did have was pretty much right at the exact uh, time period when Metroid Prime 3 was released. But, like I said, we don't have to do anything hard set in stone yet. We'll figure things out when we figure things out. And not before. Now let's just capture all these coins because I might just have to grab uh, the red coins and stuff as a backup until we can figure this low ledge and you know as I've said about other stars it's it's definitely one of those things where you know it 
you know, with, when the maps are only so big, there's only so many spots it could be. And then, you know, the solution usually ends up being something pretty extra obvious, but again, what are we going to do? But, you know, just keep collecting coins until such time as I can f either decide to just grab uh, the eight red coins or find out where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, because there's nothing else over here, and that's just the underside of the bridge. We were, we've already looked over there, and there's nothing else up here. And we are, yeah, so we explored up there, we explored... Wait, is that... Hold on. I think... I think I have a plan? Uh. Uh. Leap of faith! And the Goomba follows me off the ledge. And I think I have an idea. I might have a. Something I saw in my sights. There's that ledge over there. Besides that, I can't remember if I've looked at that yet. But we will find out soon enough, and if not, you know... No! Oh! Stupid fly guys. Ugh. Make up your mind if you're gonna come over here. Boing! No! My coins! Ah, <laughs> you stooge. Get it. All right, you're just going to waddle over there now. All right, so, I th yeah, I think I have to go up this guy. And then, yeah, go over this way. And honestly, I don't even think I've seen the blue coin switch as of yet. Um, wait. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, I think I'm going the wrong way. How did I get up? How did I get up on top of these guys? Let's see, I think it was something like this. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep collecting coins. And keep missing long jumps. And it's all good. And... Like I said, there was... Aha! 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 I knew it! There we go. See, we found it. Of course, now we got to go around collecting coins again, but I will I will accept that as a, as a successful star uh, find. And I, I don't really know how I just sort of spotted that out of the corner of my eye. That's really just luck. Okay. So we'll go up this way because there's nothing else this way. Because we have to do all our coin collecting. And we don't want to go the way that... Um, that last little star was at. Because that was where the red coins are. And it looks like we're going to have to go there last no matter what. Okay, I don't think there's any coin, really any coins over there. So... Won't worry, worry about that. But we'll just head on over here, and like I said, we'll maybe, yeah, let me go this way, because I think I can make a lap around if I go this way and just sort of end up right back at the starting position. 
and get back to where I climb up to get to those um, red coin platforms. And yeah, just keep uh, yeah keep feeding me these chukyas. Confluter all day long. Thank you. Five coins at a time is excellent. Yeah, you know, we basically just need to get to 84 at minimum before we get up to or get back to where the red coins are. And yeah, once again, just be careful with those save states because well, we can do that. That's a pretty creative way to die, but yeah, we can have things just sort of happen and we fall down. All right. Five more coins at a, at a time. But yeah, I'm rather suspicious that I haven't seen the blue coin switch anywhere. Uh, I think that's really strange. Well, let's see if there's any coins hiding up on this tower. Oh, there's a one-up mushroom. But I don't think I see any sign of uh, coins, so... Alright, oh... Uh. So, back uh, around this... Ring around the rosy level we go. Yeah, this level honestly hasn't been too bad for being a later course. I mean, other than, you know, just being mindful of the fact that you're surrounded by the bottomless pit ledges it doesn't have a whole lot to really make it difficult and oh yeah this is where we're gonna have to use our fancy hacks a triple jump so all right yeah save <laughs> I nearly almost reverted. I, uh, my finger was hovering over F7 for half a second there. Ah. Yeah, after I spent like seven minutes complaining about wall jumping in a row, now I'm having to do a, a blind wall jump. Define irony. Urgh. Because I, yeah, I don't think the side flip, yeah, the side flip doesn't get me enough height. So we definitely have to do, we definitely have to do the triple jump. There we go. Yeah, for whatever reason, that one's not quite as bad. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, yeah, don't let me fall off because I don't want to have to do this. Oh, God! Stop with the flame shooter. And there's not going to be any coins over there, is it? I, uh, so, you know, I wish I wasn't so bad at remembering where the coins are. Okay, well, there's coins down there. Uh, yeah, I can't remember if there are coins up at the top of this little... little uh, tower thing. Okay, I think that's where I'll go back down and I'll be able to get to where those um, coins I saw in there. Okay, so I mean, nothing up here. I, I kind of didn't think so, but never hurts to be careful. And speaking of careful, just in case. All right. So we're doing pretty good, pretty good. And, oh, almost missed those. All right, we're almost at our our necessary total. And, we, yeah, this is our nice, uh, easy spot to jump back up. And... Yeah, we, we definitely get our um, repetitive grand tour of the level each uh, each course whenever we have to 
run back around grabbing coins after the fact. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, well, yeah, this was the long jump. Makes me nervous every time. <laughs> Okay, so this was a 10 coin box, I think? Ah. No, get back here. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, 10 more coins and we'll be good to go. Because we'll, we still have 16 we're gonna get from red coins. Alright, so Goombas and looks. Alright, more coins here and. Hey, get over here. Fly guy! Well, you know, it would also help if I could see what the heck I was jumping at. No! Don't punch me in the face while I'm trying to collect coins. One more! <laughs> Who wants to be the lucky last one? Well, Conk Golder, you, you, you'll be our safety net. And it won't even matter, but uh, because I have so many problems with the OCD and whatever. Must collect all those, even though I know for a fact they're unnecessary. Um, let, let me see if I can make it over here and see if we can save ourselves a little bit of time. Well, that definitely won't do it. Uh, oh! I feel like that it's makeable though. Just have to jump from a better angle. Holy oh, god. Well, that did end up working a little bit better than I thought it might have. Okay, yeah, okay, so I need to go over to this guy. Now the qu question's going to be is how annoying are the red coins? Oh! Just long jump when in doubt. Yeah. Well, that's just as well to get it here and don't have to worry about it showing up somewhere inconvenient when I'm over at uh, the red coins. Wow. All right. <laughs> Ugh. Side jump if you don't want to piss me off. <laughs> yes, must keep grabbing more useless coins. <laughs> and we can easily ignore the fly guy. Oh, yeah, this is where we need to do the weird triple jumps. And let's see, I can do that now. Oh, good. Thank God everything's all in a maze. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Excellent start to the right coin nonsense. Uh. Oof. I think, yeah, long jumps look like they'll be the safest way to get around. Yeah. Flame, flame shooters are exactly what, what was missing from this. Oh, flame shooters are pretty much okie dokie in my book. Yeah, we don't want to get too cute. Ugh, I hate. I hate when I can't see where I'm doing and I and I jump too far. And I, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any reason to bother the Chuck ya.
what's okay what's over here again the main problem is that they're not really organized in a a very convenient pattern there yeah if you're gonna stand around doing weird stuff just Might as well help me out. <sighs> cool, we're almost there. Nah! No. <laughs> Don't be stupid, Mario. So yeah, this would be where if you're not using safe states, um, I feel like a lot of lives could be lost. So I think we can definitely say that this game would have its share of challenges if you were playing it, you know, totally true to original game. All right, once again, second run's a little bit long, but you know, honestly, for the sake of getting everything in one course, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. And now we have to, no wait, we don't go, no wait, we don't go in here. That's, that was one of those, uh, that was the first uh, course when it's in here. If I remember correctly, we're going to be going over, yeah, going over to the um, ice, icy looking level. Um, but yeah, let me just double check that once again before we go. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but okay, yeah, Permafrost Palace, so that will be where we're going. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but I prefer to go over the courses in order as much as possible. But yeah. So, another course in the books, and that one was a lot less stressful. So, maybe we'll start a new streak with that. Probably not, but hey, wait, stranger things have happened. But later, folks.